former NHL enforcer, George Larac, on Sunday while I'm watching NFL football, <laughs> tweet, tweets out, massive breaking news surrounding the Canadians, maybe bigger than the Patrick Line deal. I'm not going to tell you now. Tune into my radio show Monday at noon for all the details. And so any good journalist puts their <laughs> nose to the grindstone and they start to get to work and they start to unearth what George Larac teased the market with. And as it turned out, it was all fake news. The source told George Larac, apparently via a photo evidence, that Gerard Gallant was seen at a Toronto restaurant with Kent Hughes and Martin St. Louis. But as it turned out, the rumor mill went cuckoo bananas. And oh, right away, it was, no, 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 no. That wasn't Jared Gallant. That was Adam Nicholas, the uh, development coach for the Montreal Canadiens, who, by the way, is 39 years young. Not a very compliment, uh, a complimentary observation from whoever the source was. And then quickly, here's where I'm fascinated. And I'm, I'm, I'm dying to know your perspective on this. Once the news hit the fan that George Larocque reported that Hughes and St. Louis were having lunch, dinner, cocktails, cappuccinos with Gerard Gallant, within mm -hmm. 30 <laughs> minutes of the news breaking, Ken Hughes was telling uh, Alexander Pratt, Guillaume Lefrancois from La Presse in Montreal, that, are you ready for this? Ken Hughes has never even spoken to Gerard Gallant in his life. He goes, the last time I saw Gallant, he was accepting the award in Vegas when he won the Jack Adams for Coach of the Year. Dude, they came, the organization within 30 minutes completely put bullets in every aspect of that report. So here's my question. How did they do that so quickly? Why did they do that so quickly? Is that just good PR getting ahead of this? And that's where the Canadians are? Or did they get ahead of this because they know George is reporting the truth and they'd want to shoot it down? Like, I'm, I'm fascinated by the Canadians... How quickly, Eric, they handled this George LaRock rumor. Oh, I, I know when I heard, when I, when I read about it, so they were in a restaurant. Yeah. That, I, right away, I said to myself, that makes no sense. Because, so you're the Montreal Canadiens. You're looking to add an assistant coach or make a switch behind the bench. Yeah. Uh, with the San Luis apparently being on board. So you'll you'll have that discussion in a restaurant. <laughs> it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. In Toronto. In Toronto. Yeah, it's Toronto. Come on. It's just so stupid. <laughs> And so when I saw that, I said, well, that makes no sense. That's usually the litmus test. Does it make sense? No, it doesn't. You know, is, is what, you know, was Jerry Garon on a, did they see him on a plane headed to Toronto? Right? No, they didn't see him. <laughs> was yeah. Shohei on the plane? Was Shohei Otero? Yeah, is, 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 is Juan Soto, is, it was, did That's they right. see him on a plane headed for Toronto? They haven't learned their lesson yet, which I love. Um, I think that they just came out to um, debunk the story because they didn't want that negative attention on the head coach, because there's a bit of, a little bit of an online swell when it comes to those who are criticizing Marty San Louis as the head coach. Uh, what I've said is that's the use. The word I used on Twitter was it was, it's absurd to mm -hmm. criticize, to hold Marty San Louis accountable for the Montreal Canadians record. They're not good. It's not because of coaching. They're not good because of roster construction, full stop. It's it, watch other teams. Right. There's this danger of sports fans. When you become very familiar with your own team, sometimes you have a tendency of overvaluing your team by virtue of familiarity. It happens. And I think it's happening here with the Canadians. Watch other teams. You will see a difference by way of the visible eye. But no, I don't think they were looking to um I don't. I don't think the story was remotely true. I thought it was um, get technical with you. I thought it was stupid. Respectfully, uh, <laughs> yeah. The, uh, like, where were they? Ha they would have to go to like Lima, Peru, to pull something like like having Ken Hughes and Jared Glenn and Martin St. Louis at any Toronto restaurant. Like, it's preposterous. But any so restaurant, any me. restaurant. Hey guys, let's yeah, meet yeah. about a Montreal Canadiens coaching change in a public <laughs> venue. <laughs> You do business like that all the time with your big yeah, clients, right? Like, right. It's, 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 absolutely. It's called, it's called Zoom. Yeah. If you really yeah. want to see them, hop yeah. onto a video conference. Like, like I know one of your big clients is Jeff Bezos at Amazon. Like, you ever ask him to go to Pizza Pizza for a quick uh, recap on some <laughs> trademark right. violations? Right. Does that ever that's happen? Right. Pizza that's Pizza right. with Jeff that's Bezos? Right. No, it doesn't happen no, that he's way. He's more of a Gabriel's kind of guy. Yeah. Oh, 
if I lived in Ottawa, I would get that, but I don't. You would uh, know that, or I guess hey, is Pizza uh, Donini still around? I used to order. From oh my god, I love that Montreal. commercial so much. Pizza Donini is not around. Pizza Donini, no, I want a pizza and I want it now. It was three, three, really good one. pizza at the time, uh, at least. But you yeah. like the big changes like again. You grew up in Cote Saint Louis at the like, time, what, but I was a child. Please, what was the uh, what was Pizza Delight? But you're not a Hebrew. All the Hebs went to uh, Pizza Delight. No, where the, did you I guys ordered go? from Pendeli's. Oh, Pendeli's yeah. Pizza on Cote Saint Luke Road. That was really good. Would your dad like Pendeli's? Because your dad called the shot. I would imagine we're ordering pizza. It's not like Eric. What's your opinion? It's like I'm ordering pizza. No, no, we we called the shots because we never really saw our parents. We're part of that generation where. Our parents oh, would you. reintroduce themselves to us every couple of weeks. So you're tight with your nanny still? How's that work? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> She's dead, but she was really sweet. 